Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Serato Sample. This is a plugin by the company named Serato. It's a, an effect that's usually found inside of their mixers and inside of their uh, DJ software, but now it's in VST format and it's phenomenal. Now you can use this for live performance, which is kind of what it's geared to do You know, from the get. Obviously it's built for the DJ side of things. And you can use that right inside of your live performance to trigger different samples and stuff. You know, put these on your pads. And, you know, put them on your, your drum pads and play that in any particular way or just to get some new stuff going or, you know, certain parts of certain things. Yeah, you get the idea. But what I'm going to show you is just how I use this inside of my workflow to generate ideas quickly. But before we do that, I just want to run through the plugin so you get a good idea of what it has to offer. Standard play button. Uh, we can loop it or we can have it just play through once. There's mono or polyphonic. This just means um, only one note will play at a time. If you have it on poly, you can play E, uh, e and J at the same time. And you sometimes you'll want that and sometimes you won't. This is the information that Serato has analyzed from whatever you drag and drop into here. So this is a drag and drop system. If I come over here and find a different uh, audio loop, for example. Let's drop that in there. Uh, you'll see that now it's D minor. It's incorrectly identified that, but it's probably close enough. We can come in and change the pitch of it. Shift clicking will bring it back to its root note. Alt clicking will change how it's displayed. So we got D minor or 12M or 7A. Here is the BPM. We can turn it sync off or turn it on. You can see that it's at 135. That's where we want it to be. That's fine. We can double it or half time it. And down here is where things get really cool. So we can actually just come in here and scratch this waveform. Obviously that's super dope. We can zoom in so we can get things really, you know, where they need to be in terms of transient crossings. But what's really cool about this is this find samples button down here. We can say set random, uh, set slicer, or find samples. I'm just gonna hit five samples. And you see that it's searched through the audio file and found essentially transient crossings to give me interesting results if I put uh, some MIDI in there or play these on pads. So we have, what do we have here? We've got 7A, let me go ahead and go back to D minor. We need to get to E, so what's that? Boom, let's go E minor. So here we go. Now we've, this has detuned the entire sample, but what's really cool is that we can actually detune each one of these pads independently. So you can see here we can key shift this pad down. Uh, we can time stretch it. We have filter parameters. Uh, attack and release for that, and a level knob for each one of these pads independently. Up here is kind of a global control. So let me go ahead and just go back to where I was before. Just trying to show you stuff. Here we go. And what I've done is just drop uh, some random MIDI inside of the project here. And let's just see what it sounds like uh, playing that random MIDI with the Fine Samples randomizer. See, we're already cooking with fire, right? I mean, all I did was drag a random, seriously, a random sample, drop it in there, hit find samples, and we're good to go. And presumably if we hit find samples again, it's gonna find some different sample locations. Boom, look at that. It's already kind of switched up the feel. Maybe that's a breakdown. Maybe that's a second, you know, a bridge or something like that. We can come in and just say set random. <laughs> so, I mean, I hope you get a, a good understanding of what this thing is capable. I'm just showing you how I use it in my workflow to generate ideas quickly. Sometimes I'm struggling to find an idea. I need to make tracks like, you know, once a day, essentially for these videos and stuff. So I need ideas to come quickly and I can't really dwell on them. So having something like Serato Sample that just cranks out new and interesting ideas quickly is something that's like, you know, it's, it's kind of fundamental at this point inside of my project, inside of my workflow. 
Uh, to get this sample out, you just got to hit the eject button and drag and drop. You can load an audio file by clicking this button, but you can just drag and drop from anywhere else. Let's just try this one one last time. And let's say this one, this big one. Let's say I don't like that particular one. What I could do is move the MIDI note, or if I'm super lazy, I could just come in here and drag this to a new location. Let's say I don't like that. Let's, let's try right here. I don't really like that one either, but I mean, you get the idea here. I can come in and maybe pitch shift that up. Uh, there's just one other thing I want to point out too is the favorite button. If you favorite a thing, if you favor a certain point, like let's say I really like J, if I hit favorite and then hit five samples again, it's gonna save J every time. So maybe I like J and W. I can favorite those and then just keep randomizing things and switching up to random and just getting new ideas quickly, but saving the ones I already know I really like. So anyway, that's a quick look at Serato Sample. It's available on Plugin Boutique right now. Link's in the description of this video. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something. We will see you next time.